Accurate Box Company is a 65-year-old company. We've been in New Jersey for 65 of those years and Patterson since 1983. Uh, our company, we exist in a 300,000 square foot building. Uh, we've got all the latest uh, technology and machinery and equipment to produce uh, high quality, high graphic litho lamp packaging. Uh, we've spent uh, a tremendous amount of money upgrading this plant uh, to, to, to really be a, a company that can serve its customers nationwide. We like to say that our budget work is done. We've cut $13 billion, we've cut spending, and now what we have to do is turn to where we're going to generate revenue and people, put people back to work again. And that's in places like this. The New Jersey Partnership for Action that the governor announced just a couple of weeks ago is exactly what we're doing here in Patterson. The atmosphere we have in New Jersey today doesn't encourage folks to be entrepreneurs, to take a chance, to put their own personal capital at risk in order to create jobs and new business. That's because the taxes in the state have become onerous, it's because regulation has gotten out of control, and that in part is what we got sent to Trenton to fix. And so, as you hear the debate and discussion over the course of the next couple of months on the budget and on other items, understand a few things. One, these are difficult times for everybody and everyone has to make some sacrifice in these times. But two, what we're doing is laying the groundwork, providing a foundation for growth again in this state so that people who are entrepreneurs, other businesses that are already established, won't run away from New Jersey because of our taxes and our regulation, but we'll say because we have a well-trained workforce, because we have a great infrastructure and transportation system, because we now will be competitive from a tax and a regulatory perspective, that we'll now open up our business here, expand our business here, keep our business here, and put our folks back to work. Specifically in the last 10 years, we've grown a great deal, and part of that has been because of buying new equipment and becoming more efficient. We did a lot of um, workforce development. We did a lot of grants with the Department of Labor that helped us to train our workforce in lean manufacturing and total quality management and um, reduction of downtime and all of the processes that keep manufacturers competitive in the United States. So we're looking for new employees. Uh, we would like to train them. We need people who really want to work hard, and we will be happy to train them. We have a wonderful workforce, so I was excited that the governor wanted to come and visit, uh, visit our company and uh, spend some time here. So.